have arrived in Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, uh, so today we're going to uh, spend a few hours exploring the old part of town called the Gamla Stan and the City Hall uh, before catching a ferry tonight over to Helsinki, Finland. So we've actually been in Stockholm for a couple days already. Uh, so Jenny had to come here actually for work. Uh, conference. A conference. Not, not too worky. <laughs> um, so while she was doing that, I took a bit of time to explore the city on my own. Um, I didn't really film a whole lot, uh, but went to a few museums, some history museums, saw some of that, and then also found some statues uh, of actually my great 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 fifth great fifth great <laughs> grandpa <laughs> Nils Erikson and his brother uh, both are real well-known engineers here uh, Nils was responsible for developing the Swedish railroads railroad system and I sat in rooms all day while he was doing that Ooh. <laughs> who got the tougher end of the deal there <laughs> um, Our free walking tour. Um, we really have, we mentioned this before, and we really enjoy the free walking tours and finding them. This one we didn't have to book ahead of time. Um, it just said show up, and we so we were a little nervous that it wasn't going to be there, but it was right on time, um, and I really enjoyed it. So we did the tour of the Gamlestan. They also offered one tour in Spanish, and they also offered a city tour. Um, and we learned a lot of history. A lot of the history here is very dirty, grimy, and bloody. So I was kind of surprised about that, um, thinking that uh, Sweden is a very like clean place now. Um, so we really enjoyed our tour, and uh, we really recommend you guys um, take this free walking tour, and we'll link that information below. Not, we did it in about an hour or so. Um, so there is a little section of the treasury and that has the crown jewels and that's pretty small. It was only about two rooms. And then we saw all the royal apartments, uh, which varied in style. Um, and then we saw a bunch of the different uh, awards that were given to people throughout the time here and they explained the history of the current family that rains, I guess, here. Um, so if you have about like an hour and a half, that was something interesting. So we just got done with lunch. Um, went to this kind of neat uh, place right here in the old town. Uh, it seemed like a really kind of historic restaurant. Uh, a lot of real traditional Swedish f foods. I got the Swedish meatballs with mashed potatoes. Meatballs were really good. Uh, the sauce was amazing, real creamy. Um, I made sure I got all of that up with some bread afterwards. Uh, and Jenny got a fish soup, uh, which I actually had yesterday from a different place. Uh, it's just kind of a red-based, like tomato-based soup uh, with different types of seafood. Uh, it's fish, oyster, clam shrimp maybe. There was a lot of different seafood in it. We are going to head over to the Stockholm City Hall and take a tour of that. It's not the coldest I've ever been, but I'm cold. So we just finished our tour of City Hall. Yeah, uh, the City Hall here is really magnificent. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty surprised by it. Uh, I don't know exactly what I was expecting, but 
it's one of the coolest public uh, kind of political buildings I've seen. Government buildings, I guess. Um, so every year they hold the Nobel banquet here and um, it's very, it's not that big for a banquet hall, but it's definitely got a lot of glamour to it. Yeah, so they hold the banquet in the blue room, which is actually a red brick room. Um, a little interesting. There, there's a story behind that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll have to take the tour to find out. Yes. <laughs> or you can probably Google it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then we got to go through the um, city council chambers, which was really pretty. Uh, had a really ornate mm -hmm. um, ceiling in there. And then a few other banquet halls that we also went through. All of them just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of work went into this building. And then the final room that they bring you to is called the Gold Room and it is just made up of millions of mo gold mosaic tiles and it, it's breathtaking. Mm -hmm. um, the gold just shimmers in the light giving it a really neat look. It was just, not, it was really cool to I see. I think it was surprising yeah. to see uh -huh. how I didn't, when Jacob was like, let's do a tour of City Hall, I was not excited to do that, but I'm really glad that we did get a chance to see it um, because I think if I had, missed out on the opportunity it would have been pretty disappointed so yeah so if enjoy. you're in sweden or in stockholm mm -hmm. make sure you hit up this tour yeah uh, and it's it, only 45 minutes so yeah. it's not gonna cut that much time out of your day either mm -hmm. yep and the price wasn't bad either no. um so i think now we have a little bit of time until we have to catch our boat over to helsinki so i think we're gonna go get a little coffee break see you there